All right, evening guys, I'm somewhere near Gosport um, and I've just hooked into something. I didn't think I'd get a movie out of tonight, but i um, not sure what this is, but it did not hit the law. Hopefully it's a bass. Yes, it's a bass. Yes, look at that. There we go. Beautiful, nice bass, undersized, so it's going to go back. There's the lure, right in the kisser there. Absolutely fantastic fish. Just got to figure out. Ah, you bastard. There we go. There we go, guys. Lovely, lovely bass. I've actually got to figure out. I'm going to get down. We're getting back in now. Can you get down there? Can you guys? Can you get down there, can you? Yeah, he's under size. Can you, uh, did you get down, just drop down? You just drop down, dear. Yeah, he's, under, he's well under 42. There you go. He's all right, isn't he? He'll be down here for about four days straight with nothing. <laughs> And then the Cornishman comes along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he goes. Beautiful. How many of them? Right guys, I wasn't intending on getting any footage tonight, but as you've just seen, I've just had that beautiful bass. Um, the sky tonight is really impressive. I've got no idea where I am. I'm, I know I'm near our oh, base at Leon Solent. Um, but the clarity of the water is really good tonight and there's been some schools of bait fish coming through so whether that was a lone fish I just caught or there's more but I'm going to carry on casting um, I've probably got another hour or so of light and we'll see what happens hopefully I'll have some more for you but, um, thanks for joining me in tight lines guys Go So it looks like this potentially is the witching hour, guys. So last week I was hoping to get some footage for you. I was in St. Athen working last week and staying on Barry Island and um, fish Barry docks virtually every night and didn't see a single fish. Um, just found this place. Like I said, I've got no idea where I am. I know that's the Isle of Wight because um, I've just been told. Um, but it's been really difficult finding somewhere to fish where there's not crowds. Um, so I found this little spot and lo and behold, into the fish. So happy days. So what I'm doing with this lure is whacking out as far as I can and just um, sink and draw in it. I've tried a straight recovery and that didn't really get much attention but the sink and draw seems to be doing the business. So I'll keep it that. This is some of the new, um, I'm not exactly sure the name of the lure because I threw the packaging away. It's a Sidewinder um, 17 gram and it's like a candy colour pretty much like the new candy colour eels that Sidewinder have got out at the moment. Only downside to this mark is I am by a busy road, but there's not much through traffic in terms of pedestrians. As you can see, the sky's looking pretty gnarly tonight. I think we're gonna have some thunderstorms later. It's really humid. It's like being back in Tobago, uh, Trinidad, sorry.
we didn't get to Tobago, that's another story. Also, that's my first fish on my new HGO Rockfish. And to add to my review, it played it beautifully. Quite impressed. It's all in all a result. There we go, it's a fish. It was a fish. Is it still there? No. Right guys, I'm going to call it a night there while I'm winning. Um, hopefully the sound's not too bad because the traffic and the wind's just like picking up. We're we'll getting flashes of lightning right over the island there. I'm standing here with an eight foot piece of carbon. I don't really fancy getting struck by lightning. So I'm going to finish while I'm on a high. I've got a long drive back to Cornwall tomorrow again. Um, Hopefully, it's only going to be a short movie, but hopefully you'll enjoy it um, and proof that we can catch fish. All the best, guys. Tight lines. I'll see you all soon.